Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Rome Total War Remastered here today on the channel. We're back on RTR Imperium Serectum. We're back on RIS. This is episode 2 of my Roman Republic series. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. So, we're going to be starting off exactly where we left off last episode. And let's try and work through the Roman world at the moment, as it were. Okay, so, in the last episode, we managed to secure Umbria and Asculum here on the eastern coast of... Italy, the Italian peninsula, up in the north as well, we've managed to push into uh, this northern, uh, what is it, Celtic province. So I think the plan for today's video is trying to secure Patavium, uh, Mediolanium, Genoa, and what I think we'll do is we'll build a fort wall from here and block this off and then I think look if we get attacked by anyone we can throw them back with ease and if you do want to push over the mountain ranges here we can but it is going to be a lot harder to push into these barbarian territories as for example here we're already dealing with the new religion slash essentially um, culture mechanic because it's 100% tribal here there is zero Greco-Roman and we're already getting some really bad um, public order penalties actually speaking of that I might actually drop that down to low so it can be a little bit better we're also currently in a huge Roman debt we're currently at 4,655 denarii down we are making 2,000 now due to our new territories that we've acquired which is brilliant but we do need to get that back on track. Okay, down in the south, we have made a play into Sicily, but honestly, I might have bitten off more than what I can chew. Um, there was a little bit of a misplay down here. I declared war upon the Greeks, thinking there was only four units in there. However, they went and spawned a bunch more. So as you can see, we are currently at war with the Greek city-states. Um, they do have a province here in Massalia. They don't want peace, so they could very well push into Italy. So that's something we have to watch out for. So let's have a look at our faction leader and where we sort of are family-wise. So we're currently under the reign of... Well, not really reign, sorry. I've been playing medieval stuff recently. Our faction leader is Gaius, but that's not necessarily the consoles, which they've added now as well. So let's have a look at the family tree. So... Uh, Gaius here is the faction leader, and Cornelius Scipio is the current heir of this series. But, I don't know, should we take notice of that, or should we take mo more so about who's consul? Because up in the north, Gaius was the one making the plays. He is our... Is he the best commander in the north? No, he's not. We really should maybe give the command to someone else, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, because he's currently... I guess he's up there because he's got the influence... And the management. My name is Gaius. I'm a two-star commander. You all will follow me. And then I guess Marcus here is just like, what? <laughs> and Regulus as well. So, we do have a console up here. I just need to find you. Because um, if I go through all of these, I should be able to find Spartan. Okay. That's an interesting... Okay, no, so... Uh, so, Gaius is the console... And the faction leader. Because sometimes that's not necessarily one in the same. So, we're currently under the consulship of Gaius. I might even have to give the command to... Who have we got here? Yeah, I might actually give it to Marcus. I might actually move him out and then make him the only commander. At this... like, I want to try and get to at some point where I've got a governor. Essentially, a uh, general in each... Settlement, but because we're currently hemorrhaging cash, we've got to use our generals to the best of our ability. So, Gaius has been making the plays up here. We might even switch the command to the Northern Legion to Marcus. Alright, back down in the south. So, yeah, Cornelius Scipio is the heir. However, if I'm not mistaken, he's only a quaestor, yeah. So, it's... which one is it? Oh, so he's an Optimati, which is cool. Oh, yeah, Proconsul. Pro here it is. Yep, so Cornelius here is Proconsul, and he's not the Factionaire either. So that is the current Proconsul and Consul reign. I will try and keep track of it, and also will try and keep of 
lineages where they sort of attack regions as, and stuff as well. Okay, I don't think there's much else we can really do. I think we sort of ended to... Um, we ended the last episode in a really good position. I think we just need to end the turn and continue. We've got no money. We can't buy any new units. Um, we can't do any construction either. I couldn't. I can look up here. Is there anything we can break down? Religious conversion. Local 5%. Because sometimes there is a... Um, a hallmark in the Rome in the remaster. That's also in the um, well. It was a problem in the vanilla of Rome, and then now in the remaster, you have to destroy temples, or otherwise you can't build your own. So we will have to keep an eye on that. Are there any foreign buildings in these territories I recently took that might be stopping me now? Anyway, let's end the turn and continue and see how the AI reacts to us. Oh. The Greeks have made a move down in Masana. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Faction announcements. Another child. And Cornelius Scipio has opened up a small client network. And we're nearly out of our debt crisis, which is brilliant. And then up in the north, what's happened here? You've moved about a bit. Um, do you, the Greeks want a ceasefire again? Patience is limited. A trade? Surely no, what I just. might need to do is I might need to gain a territory somewhere and then gift it to them. They do tend to have a decent army there. It was this army here that I was looking for. Alright, maybe we need to go to Gauls and have a look at them. Okay, so they've got forces hanging around here. It might be a good idea to build some watchtowers. We should be able to do that, even though we're currently in debt. Here's my... your 53. I guess I'll send you out. Uh, I was trying to think, who is my weakest general here, just in case there's an ambush? You can sometimes get ambushed in these little forests here. So, if we do lose Quintus, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so, we'll move you here. Also, a little bit of a tip for building uh, watchtowers, Roman watchtowers. You don't want to build them like here. Um, because then what you can't do is build a fort. If you desperately need to build a fort on a crossing or a choke point, it basically negates the build slot. So, what I'll do is we should be able to do that. Does that mean we can, um, recruit even though we're in... No. So, yeah, that's what I thought. We can't recruit because we're in debt. However, we can build watchtowers and take on the further debt. Okay. Um, that's not too bad. So, already, we've got a little bit of line of sight into this territory. And it looks like already, just due to the osmosis of the generals... Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, just due to the generals, we're converting quite a quick bit. We've only controlled this for one turn. And it's gone to a 41% Greco-Roman conversion to tribal. So it won't actually take us too long. I was like, oh, maybe we need to build a bunch of prerequisite buildings before we can even leave this place. But no, it's not too bad. I think that is fine. We can always... Uh, we can't really see over here. But I don't think that's an issue. Okay, let's move you back down here. Um, what do we do about this here? I'm just trying to think. So, we've got eight units in there. Oh, that's risky though. Do I build a watchtower just here for a sec? Just to see what we're working with. Okay, we can't really see. I just think this is a massive opportunity. Because if we can destroy this, we might be able to march upon Syracuse. However, if we throw all of our military into that. Masana is compromised and then Carthage could take the rest of the island. Look, I think we'll take the risk. That's what Total Wars are about. <laughs> so who do we leave behind? Do we leave by a general unit or do we take all the infantry out? Probably the guy we moved out we probably wanted to keep in. To be honest. Okay, you can stay there. Alright, let's risk it. Let's rally up, and we'll try and intercept this. Okay, so we are currently at number two to one, which is quite a bit. Thankfully, there's no commander inside. They've got some missile units, some spearmen. They have a severe lack of cavalry. Their Syracuse hoplites are going to be the major problem. But we are on a very shoestring army. But anyway, we'll fight this one and see how we go. Oh, it's risky, this one. <laughs> The 
auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing could be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. Over there stands the Greek army. They make a fine show, and are worthy enemies. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all we can do for her. Then we will do our duty to Roman honor! Okay, let's do this one for Roman honor, I guess. Oh, wow. My frames are dropping. There's a lot of foliage here. Oh my god, what's this? <laughs> Looks like Pride Rock. This thing's huge. Oh my god. Okay, um, well, we should be able to just hold space bar. Okay. That used to get rid of the foliage. Have they changed that? Uh, why is it doing that? That's annoying. Okay, um, we might have to move out of here then, because I can't see anything. What's over here? The thing is, we're at the corner of the map. Hmm. We might be able to use this to our advantage. This huge rock. Like, if we hold a position here. Move you here. Um, where's actually what I'll do is I'll chuck... There, I was going to say, what can sort of hold on the... I think what I'll do is I'll put the Triari on the flanks. So, here. And we'll make a little thing here. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I guess we'll sit here and we'll just try and wrap around the side where we can. So, there they are. We'll form up in this position and just try and hold as best we can. It's kind of cool. There's Mount Etna in the distance, or Etna, whatever it's called. Okay, so they're slowly moving. We're gonna be, we're gonna have to be quite careful here because we don't have much. We're really gonna have to pick our targets well. We might try and go for a Peltast unit if we can. The problem is if they start intertwining with spearmen, we're really going to have a problem. But they seem to be coming against us, which is good. They seem to be closing the distance and marching. Okay, that's going to be really hard to break down that shield wall formation. That they're coming on in with. I think what we need to do, we need to somehow get them to engage this front line. And then we'll swing our cavalry around to cycle charge. I think that's what we have to do. They are coming, slowly but surely. If we can, like, get them to engage here, we can wrap around this rock and we'll be able to see properly. But visibility is low. As they come on in. Um, actually, you guys need to be on guard mode at least. And on toggle fire at will. Okay, so, what's going on? Are they going to split their army around the rock? They are, by the look of it. Okay, so we've got the Romans just trading some skirmisher fire here. Same with the Greeks. And it looks like they're about to go with a charge as well. Alright, so they're actually protecting there with some Peltasts. Okay, they're charging now, which is good. Now, I just need to see which way they commit more so. Okay, I think we need to go this way. We need to be here. And then form up. Okay, now charge. You here. You, like, there. And then into that. And then sound a charge. 
Okay, that is hitting my front line there. Cycle charge out. We'll give out some attack orders now. Go here. Um, so hard to see, boys. Sorry. I could definitely can't see anything. Okay, there. Oh, I thought they were routing there for a sec. We've made a bit of a dent into them. But it's nothing too crazy, to be honest. I'm just trying to think if we may, we should just push up here and hit these guys. It's just a bit of a grind at the moment. Okay, we haven't lost a general unit yet, but we're going to get super close. I think they just need a breather here. We're even struggling to punch through like this sort of stuff. Which is super interesting. Hang on, that might have been it. it is time to press the yep, attack. enemy general fallen. We'll take that. We're just going to be super careful ourselves now. So we are pushing through here. Want to move you here to be exact. That leg is one of our generals. And now he feeds the carrion birds. His men may soon be bird food too. Unfortunate, but if we want to win battles like this, we're going to have to use our guys to the best of our ability. So we might just give them a breather for a sec. As it does look like a decent chunk of their army is now in a full retreat. But in saying that, we don't want to lose the ascendancy that we gained. Although we might win the battle, we might end up losing... Syracuse because of it. Oh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to break through here, actually. struggle to break down this last bit if we are at all sorry not be at it we're not able to get some cinematic shots for this one <laughs> it's been a bit micro heavy so they're now routing now I think we're in a good position so we did lose a general in the process but to be fair, I think it's okay. Oh wow, the Greeks are so 
<laughs> strong. Oh, I, don't, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, good. We won. All right. Let's try to run down as many of them as we can. So, although we've won that, we've lost a gen. We gained some valuable experience for our units. We're not going to be able to march upon Syracuse unless we get additional reinforcements. I'm just worried about running down with generals. I don't want to lose them. Oh well, so I guess we've won the battle for Pride Rock. <laughs> that was a good one. Man, oh man. Yeah, so, new version of this mod. Uh, these general units, the heavy cavalry, are not as good as I have the confidence to send them on into. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, in vanilla Rome, the Roman general units are some of the best in the game. To be fair, the Prinkapes did awesome. Maybe even the Triari into the... Uh, Sestati lost a lot to some extent. But, yeah, I can't really rely on these harder difficulties with the General's bodyguard. So, we will need to make serious investment in our recruitment capacity. But, so far, not a bad battle in the end. Good one to start things off. Okay, so we deployed 871. Clear victory. Yeah, so we were outnumbered 2-1. to one. And it was a, an interesting like rock-paper-scissors battle. We had the cavalry, while what they had the spears. 285 with the Prinkapes. Yeah, look at this. One cavalry got, unit got... 200, but most of them were sitting about 100 each. It was really the Villates, the Principes, and the Triari. So, they've changed the balancing. There's been a lot of balance changes as well. I am playing on very hard, very hard as well. So, I do have to be careful. But hey, look. I'm dipping my toes into this latest version. Version 0.3. I haven't played it before. I'm learning as we go as well. And I'm sure you guys as well. Watching, you'll be able to know that, uh, hey, uh, don't try and rush Syracuse early on. Because <laughs> it ain't happening. Oh my god, we are really... <laughs> quite depleted now. Okay, so let's have a look at the consequences. So, who did we actually lose? Oh, that's rather unfortunate. Cornelius Scipio the heir. Damn it. I always feel bad losing a Scipio, a Scipioni, as they are my favorite Roman family, particularly in this time period. So, what's now happened? Does he have a... Uh, like, children? God, if we've killed the... Sci oh, he does. I was going to say, oh no, if we've killed off the Cornelius Scipio line in this playthrough, in this alternative timeline, I'm going to be furious. Who's going to be able to burn and salt Carthage to the ground? So, he does have a son, Publius Cornelius Scipio. I'm sure... Yeah, we might have to give him the invasion of Greece... My father was killed by Greeks. I hate them. <laughs> so we've got a new heir as well. So who was that? Uh, Lucius Metellus. And... So thankfully, I guess we're not going to have a new pro console. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, we'll lick our wounds and we'll move back to Masana. We can't get any recruitment. We're in debt. And even when we do so, we're going to need to get rely on recruitment from up here. Um, we could send reinforcements down, maybe. Or is it worth making a play up here? I just don't think we've got the armies now. We don't want to overextend. We've been stretched quite thin, actually. Let's see the turn and continue. And we should be out of our debt crisis now, if we're lucky. Hey, we currently have 814 denarii positively. Okay, so after that, yeah, I'm nearly... Oh, God. Who are you? Unfortunately, Carthage has marched nine units into Masana. They're posturing. We should be able to do withstand an attack on their walls. 
That's what I was kind of worried about, that potentially if we just waste each other's men here, Greece and Sicily, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, well, essentially we allow Carthage to take the rest of the island. Sparta and the Ptolemies have broken their alliance. Okay. Do they want peace, the Greeks? Quick. Our no, they're really not interested. Needed. Okay, I think we could actually move to Ligeria. We might even be able to get on in if we're lucky. Okay, and we've got the movement to hit from here? Yeah, we sure do. So let's just leave Quintus here. Oh, what can't actually... Oh, okay. Um, unfortunately, the infantry can't get there. That's super annoying. However, all the generals can. You've got to be joking. I wanted to go that way. Well, that was a bait. <laughs> uh, okay, we've been ambushed there. We should be okay. I'll bring out the rest, but we'll just pull back. It just depends if they rally up. We should be alright though. Although we're back in a... Damn it! Oh, that's no, it's okay. It worked out well. Uh, what have we got here? Suitable husband. Vibius. Sure, we'll bring you in. We did lose a general, so we've got to make up for it. Okay, so a bit of a change of hands there. The army that ambushed us got attacked by the Greeks. And they've now been pushed back. Yeah, that is really not good. If I move you in, does that make it a bit of a difference? No. They're really unhappy, the populace here. I'm just trying to think... Do I push more back? We're not going to be able to leave it. Although it's nearly 80% now. Yeah, maybe... Do we need the, the faction leader in here? Is that the issue? Okay. Now they really need us back in there. Damn it. We don't want a rebellion here. That's the issue. Although that's a really good situation to push into Genoa, because they're quite weak. Okay, what's going on down here? Carthage is still posturing for now. Okay, well, let's spend some of this money. Alrighty. That's a lot of dudes. <laughs> We've got so many family members here, though. I'm just trying to think if we should pull out, man. We might need to withdraw. Hmm... I'm just trying to think as well. Construction, like, we don't have any access to essentially military forces south of Capua, which is huge. <laughs> so, we need to build a barracks somewhere. Ideally, we want to get barracks everywhere so we can draw from the Roman population and then just send forces anywhere where we want. I'm just trying to think, is it worth building a barracks, which costs 2,000, takes four turns, which is quite a bit of investment, but we could lose Masana. Do we build it in Regium? But Regium could fall. I think we need to... Maybe... Hmm. I'm trying to think, Crotone or Tarentum? I guess Tarentum. We'll build one here. Because that's like half our money gone. Like instantly. The rest will put an investment into some military forces. Because we will need them down in the south. They cost a lot, man. Up in the north, we can get some Villates. And I guess that's the turn for now. Yeah, for whatever reason, it takes a unit... It takes the units a lot less to get there. I just feel like we can't even move out of this province just yet either. Last thing I want is it to rebel. I've definitely noticed that... I need to repair that, actually. That <laughs> I'm not able to snowball nowhere near as much and push and overextend um, like in my first playthrough. The boys have done a great job in this campaign. 
So what I'll do is I'll end the turn and continue and I fear Carthage. Okay, I fear Carthage, yet the Greek states are gonna come against me. That might not be too bad. Have they left have they left that undefended potentially? So we've been besieged. And someone's come of age as well. Marcus. A strong Roman name. Uh, the Seleucid Empire have an alliance along and uh, uh, getting tongue tied. Announced an alliance with Pontus. Okay, we'll move those reinforcements up slightly. We might need to put some money into a religious building here. So what do we got? Oh wow. So I need to read all this because this um. Bonuses and D buffs. So, public order, light weapons, law, troops. I think for this instance, Saturn, because it's a border province, it's probably better off to do that. Okay. Look, you know what? We probably. We probably need some more diplomats, eh? Oh, Carthage is there. That's good. We might be able to use that. Trade. Oh, here we go. This might stave them off for a little bit. Map for map. Now. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. This could be one of those old Total War Wives tales. This, when I just I had a hesitation giving them map for map. If I'm aware, like, let me know. People who play Medieval 2, Rome, I guess the remaster now. If you do this, if you share your map information with the AI, are they more aggressive in taking your territory? Because from what I can remember, if they have your map information, they know where your territories are, so then they can map out where to attack. If they don't, they don't know where you are. I don't know if that's true. I, I, from what I can remember, trading map makes them more aggressive. I could be wrong, though, but also we kind of want to get better ties with them. So, what's it? Oh, God, here we go. Except we attack map for map. Um, they're threatening me. Brilliant. I actually want to try and make an alliance with them. Oh, if I can. We'll take the hit. Um, we see no benefit to okay. us. It also would give us a bit of an idea of where they are, though. So they've got Sardinia and Corsica under control. Oh, they've actually taken that. Oh, damn it. Uh, most of North Africa is fine. They still have a couple pieces of territory in. Iberia. The thing is, right, I actually need to get map information on factions now because I don't know where all the settlements are because they've added so many. <laughs> okay, so I guess we head westward with you. Right, so they've come out and attacked me here, but it's with absolutely nothing. We might need to sally out, which I'm more than okay with. And it's a fine line with getting more units, but also we need to have a stable economy. We can't just chuck everything into units just yet. I guess we deal with this attack then. I guess we're better off to sally out. Man, the Carthaginians could attack us there, but hopefully that bit of negotiations will be fine. Now there's four units in there. It looks like they had none. All right, let's march out. Okay, so we have 563, they have 516 as well. Alright, let's fight this one. We will have arrow tower support. So I do have a plan for this one. I think what we'll do is we'll march out, we'll put our infantry as close to the wall as possible, and then we'll allow the cavalry to try and cycle charge. But we'll see how we go. War is not so much a matter of weapons as money. Dude. That quote has just hit me hard. That's the entire start of this series. Looks like we're not going to have a, a speech by the look of it. Um, I could check my villates here. Okay. So here is um, the settlement of Masana though. 
Nothing too crazy. Just a big old Roman settlement. They do have a bunch of Syracuse cavalry here. Okay. Um, if we move them out, they might be able to get a bit of a better angle on. So, if we move you here, and we'll move you out. I'm trying to think of my cavalry. Do I wrap them around a certain way? Do I push them this way? They will be a little exhausted going around. That actually might send them up, though. Okay, what I'll do is I'll move my cavalry here. Okay, so, I'm just curious to see if they're just going to stand still. They will. Because you never know, sometimes they can retreat. So what I'll do, we'll make a front line with the Principe. March on out. If it's going to let me. Is, what, is my mouse barking up again? Sometimes it does... Yeah, look at this. Why is it not locking properly? It wasn't locking when I was doing that. Yeah, now it's moving them. Because we've got to be really precise in this, or otherwise we're not going to be able to do it properly. Like, it needs to be something like that. Because if they charge us, we're a little bit stuffed. And we'll move the Romans out here. The cavalry. Okay, they're starting to move. Because uh, you got to be careful with this. Because sometimes... Uh, maybe it's because it was in the pause. Yeah, why is it... Now it... Oh no, it's still not doing it. There we go. Why was this so hard? Sorry about the pausing. I don't like to do it, but if it's not giving my orders correctly... I don't want to lose because of that. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? Heavy cavalry. How are we moving? A single column, which isn't the best. So what we'll do, we'll form on up, and we'll try and hit this from all sides. They are moving some units there, though. What have they got? Peltasts. That's a lot in that. Can you actually come closer to here? Do that, actually. Whoops. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue here because they're moving. We might have to make the play ourselves here. No, no, this is okay. They might be moving into a mistake. We'll hit this then. Come down here and hit that. That's an archer unit there. We should be able to route that. What is it? Sun Tzu. Don't interrupt the enemy when he's making a mistake. He's putting a lot of stuff here. Oh, that's good. Then... Although they're hoplites. That was a bit risky doing that. Actually, I only saw it the last minute. That they were hoplites. Bugger. We're going to have to be a bit more tactical as we swing around. Okay, for whatever reason, they seem to be allowing us to pick them off one by one, which is fine by me. You've got the rally, though. You need to be here. Okay. Wait for it. Alright, charged everyone. 92 before the initial charge. Eighty-two. Seventy. They're wavering. So we've knocked out a hundred. I'm just testing out as well if we need to stay when we charge. Like, is this version of the mod now? Is it does it give us the advantage to stay in combat to route it, or are we better off to cycle it? Because it depends in total wars and mods and stuff. So so far, even though that's a spearman, rock, paper, scissors, the cavalry's meant to lose. If we hit them from all sides, we do seem to be able to break them. Which is awesome. 
Okay. What are they sending up here? Pearl tests. They're moving up their cavalry now. Come back towards here then. We do have to be a little bit mindful of the time. But it's not going to be too much of an issue. They seem to want to charge. I'm just trying to think if we move our guys now. Because our infantry is super far back. Like, if we move to, like, here. Like, something like this. There we go. Okay, and what I'll do... Once everyone comes into position... The AI, if you flank, it tends to get them out of their position. So, now that you're here, what I'll do... Actually, you need to be angled a bit better. Yeah, so do this, right? And that should move them out of this position. Yep, so they're going to... So they're moving now. And what are they going to do? That's what I want to know. Hang on. This might be it. We might be better off just go in, to be honest. I'm just watching their movements. Alright, let's just give out some attack orders then. Get the Triarii onto them. You onto this, we'll move you here. Alright, hit them now from the sides. And now trade, I guess. Give chase to you. Villate into the top of that. Drop a morale. Buff. Okay. Make sure you guys are attacking properly. Might as well skirmish into that. Alright, maybe try and cycle charge out. Seventy-three percent to their thirty-five and it's dropping more so. Oh, they're actually charging there. So it looks like we're about to throw back in only a matter of time the Greek attackers. And now their army is fully wavering and will soon be in a full retreat. Perfect. There we go. Let's just continue. And the enemy general is dead. The Greek captain. Perfect. Uh, where's that reinforcement unit? Or the routing unit, rather. It's super far away. Okay, cool. Um, we didn't get to use that tactic as I really intended, but it worked out alright in the end, I guess. Because sometimes what you can do there is you just basically do that. You move your cavalry out and they attack it. So it turns the... Um, essentially the the sally forth into a defensive siege 
You do have to be on the outskirts though, but then you can use your arrow towers to the best of your ability. It's a pretty good tactic. Okay, um... Alrighty, so we did lose a bit of a chunk in it, but we've managed to stop the siege. Hopefully that diplomatic negotiations with Carthage is enough to hold off an attack, or otherwise we're going to have to maybe send a legion down as reinforcements. Now I'm just trying to think if we... Hmm... I'm just so worried about that. I don't know if we'd be able to win, to be honest. We are getting some reinforcements down. I was trying to think if we can like somehow daisy chain down units. You know what I mean? Mm, but you're not going to be able to cross properly. Anyway, good dub. Daisy chain in the sense of, like for example, it's going to take two turns for you to get to Regium, the one, the unit we need to reinforce. What you can do is, like, if we move you here, we can move you here, and then just, like, essentially make sure these forts are, and cities are still defended, but it will only take a turn to move in. But if we move this as starter unit there, I have a feeling that they could attack it, because we, we seem to be kind of posturing against them. Okay. So hopefully this shrine, when it gets built, we might be able to move out. But we're in the turn to continue. Um, oh, okay. That's fine. I want you to sit there. Oh, actually, we might be able to put up the tax. I haven't done that in a while, actually. Yeah, so what I'll do is we'll just quickly go around and adjust the tax rate if we can without making them too unhappy and also negating our growth. Oh, was it the only one settlement that we could really do it? <laughs> oh, we can up it here in Masana. Oh, that's right. Anyway, uh, let's see if anything happens. Until the turn continue. Ah! Oh my god. Carthage has moved two armies up and we're being attacked by the Greeks again. Shocking development. Oh my god. Uh, would you believe it? The Macedonians and the Gete have made an alliance. And does that mean we can't move over those reinforcements? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just sally out again. Oh no, that's annoying. We're gonna have to play this one, I reckon. My god. Really, just this one unit. That's super annoying. The order resolve, I don't trust that whatsoever. It's probably not a bad idea getting a diplomat maybe down in the south. Spending it. Um, to be fair, these units are garbage. These Samnites. So maybe we're better off pushing the Astarte down anyway instead of moving the units about. So yeah, just start sending them down. We need as many as what we can get. We probably need Villates over any anything there. Okay. But I want peace again. Our patience, surely. No, we might need to offer him a settlement. Right, I'm going to definitely leave here. We're going to try and find some goals or something to trade with. That's going to really help us as well at some point. We just need to get a bunch of trade going. Can we get any more diplomats? No, we just don't have the funds for it. I guess we'll just fight this one real quick. It won't be too hard to do so. It's just annoying that it's one unit, to be honest.
Okay, no speech, that's fine. Um, let's get stuck in. We've got to be really careful in this one. Because these hoplites are very good. <laughs> um, particularly if they form up into shield wall formation. We've got the Owl of Athens, which looks quite cool. Okay, um, I guess we just move on out. See how we do. Maybe try and bring them back here. Might be an okay idea. We'll move everyone out as well. Uh, everyone should be on fire at will as well. Okay, so we'll move you here. Get the Villates to skirmish. And we'll try and move everyone else around. We might form something like this. I might even go into wedge actually. Like what does wedge formation do on this? On these older Total Wars? So what does it actually say? Uh, is it going to tell me? Yeah, because from oh, I wanted to see if there was a stat specifically to it. Because from what I can remember, depending on one, it was I think it was like three um, attack minus three defense. So yeah, you obviously use wedges to try and split apart a unit. Because quite often I don't even worry with Wedge. Like, honestly. I think I might try it in this one. Because I quite like the entire mass of a unit to hit. It's like the whole fire arrow thing. I tend to not use fire ammo arrows. Okay, so we want to just try and soften these guys up as best as we can. So, let's move to about here. Okay. So we are starting to skirmish. Oh. They're going to charge me there. Turning into a bit Benny Hill over there. Okay, swing around and hold. We've actually brought them closer to the wall now. Are they shooting? Uh, not, that we, not that I could see. Alright, uh, they're now holding. Alright. We might just need that additional attack if, it, if they've got it. If not, we should have the cavalry enough to do it. So, 110 before the initial charge. Villatee's hitting them from the side. Just got to be super careful going in here. Okay, then I think we move out. Oh, they want to give chase to the cavalry, do they? Then we go again. And then we go one more. Oh, someone's gone there. The enemy general's dead. Perfect. Okay, so that one seemed to be better than that last fight we had out here. Okay, um, we only lost 70 or so, but that unit's been destroyed. Perfect. Yeah, so from what I was sort of... Remember we were cycle charging out there before? I think it might be advantageous in a situation like that to actually use the flying wedge cavalry formation. Which is cool. So that's now being pushed back and we've won another battle there. Alrighty, we're still waiting for those reinforcements to come. Alrighty boys, um, well, unfortunately I've played for about an hour here today, so I've got to wrap things up. Thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed episode 2 of the RTR Imperium Serectum Roman Republic campaign on RIS. So, basically we've dealt with the consequences of that last uh, episode essentially we fought a bunch of battles against the Greeks 
<laughs> Although it's pretty much ended in a stalemate. Stay tuned for episode 3 coming out the exact same time tomorrow. We might get attacked by Carthage, because they're posturing quite hard. So we might actually have to flee from Sicily, but we'll see how we go. We've got more military forces on the way. Our debt is now clear. We need to start investing in our economy a bit more. We will have that barracks recruited in two more turns. Back up in the north as well. We might be able to move Quintus out. But unfortunately, we had a, um, a death in this series. He lost Cornelius Scipio. RIP, put it in the comments. <laughs> Rip Scipio, unfortunately. And I do still want to go for that plan of taking these settlements and building some forts. Yeah, I thought we were going to be able to do it, but we weren't able to move out of here due to the conversion of the population. So hang on, we might actually be able to move out now, just out of curiosity. Okay, now it's 27. It's not zero, so we might be able to do that in the next. We might be able to gobble up this rebel territory here. Anyway, guys, take care. I'm going to play the outro now and say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. And yeah, without further ado, take care, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C, and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>